So the Paloma 3 study studied a drug called palbocyclib that's a first-in-class cyclin-dependent kinase CDK4 and 6 inhibitor. There's been a lot of prior work that has shown that CDK4 and 6 are a key target in hormone receptor positive breast cancer in initiating breast cancer growth. So what we did in the Paloma 3 study is we took women with advanced breast cancer, hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative, all of whom had progressed on their prior endocrine therapy. And we randomized them to a standard of care with fulvestrant, either in combination with a palbocyclib or placebo. So the endpoint of the study was progression-free survival. And the studies demonstrated that palbocyclib in combination with fulvestrant over doubled progression-free survival compared to fulvestrant alone. The PFS in the, um, in the combination with palbocyclib was 9.2 months versus 3.8 months with, with fulvestrant alone. And this is a really clinically important improvement of over five months in median progression-free survival. But importantly, the combination was also well tolerated. There were frequent blood test abnormalities. Neutropenia was, was very common on, on palbocyclib as an on-target side effect. But the rate, of, the rate of complications of neutropenia, the rate of febrile neutropenia was extremely low, 0.6% in both arms, the same on palbocyclib and placebo. Other than that, palbocyclib was well tolerated. It really had very similar side effects to placebo. There was a slight increase in fatigue, in alopecia, and in mouth soreness. But in general, palbocyclib was well tolerated. So we've got a drug that um, significantly improves progression-free survival whilst also being well tolerated. When a woman progresses on prior endocrine therapy, there are other targeted therapies available that have some challenges with side effects. Or there's, there's chemotherapy that a lot of women fear, obviously, because of side effects. And so I think one of, the, one of the real clinical benefits of palbocyclib is with uh, an over a nine-month progression-free survival on the combination, you're really substantially deferring the time where women with advanced breast cancer need to consider chemotherapy. And I think that will be really meaningful for, for patients in the clinic. And I think that will be one of the areas where palbocyclib will come in.